Hey ladies, how are you? It's Hakeet and um, today I'm gonna do a hopefully quick tutorial on a wrap that I had on the other day using a sari scarf and I used it at an angle and I also made um, three individual twists um, with my wrap and I used a tail so I want to be able to um, show you guys, you ladies, how I did it. So basically, um, I have my poof on, as you can see, and I am going to be using um, square scarves. I'm going to be using two square scarves. One, um, just piece of material. It's one small piece of material. And uh, my sari scarf, and also like a sash type scarf. Um, Okay, now, if I say sorry wrong, then I'm sorry, ladies. I just, as long as I don't say it's sorry, you know, like, sorry, but sorry, I can't get it. But you know what I mean, I hope. Um, sorry, okay. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our square. And we're going to tie it um, into a triangle. We're going to fold it into a triangle. Fold it into a triangle and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to tie it. Put it here on your head, you know, always looking to make sure it's kind of centered, somewhat centered, always centered. And then you're going to tie it at the back. I'll turn around. Okay, so pretty much this is what I have for right now, and this is what I want. I don't want these tails, um, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just finish here. I'm gonna tie it up like this, try to open it up a little bit, and then. Take that and kind of put it under and put it under. And the reason I'm doing that is because later when I put the other one on top, I hope that it creates a little bit of um, fullness and um, it doesn't look so small and so thin, you know, it looks a little full. So it's just trying to trick it back there. Um, so this is my first one that I'm going to put. It's my base scarf, the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and just put this um, really nice, um, red, it's like a wine color, I think, red on here. And I, I'm just using it because I like the designs. Just like this one, you know, it's just a simple one and I'm just using it for that, for the designs. And these are very light. You know, it's really hot, so I don't want anything that's gonna be really hot on my head. Um, this was actually part of a skirt I used to own. It was the slip, <laughs> well, half of the slip. And I really like the pattern and I just kept it so that I can use it as a cover, you know, I'll use it as a, like a sash type thing on my, on my wraps. Okay. So this is what I have so far. Okay. That's what I want. So far, this is what I want. And then I'm going to use another square, which I will tie into a triangle. This is a larger one and it's it's fine. Um, when I tie this one into a triangle though, I'm not making it perfectly even. I'm just going to make it a little bit less even. This is what I mean. You see like like that and like that it, it makes it longer in the back for me because since I'm going to use it, the style of wrap that I'm using makes it it's like a longer wrap in the back. I want it for that effect, you see, like for it to be longer. So take it here, pretty much I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna tie it back here. I can't see what I'm doing, but 
I hope that, you know, the good thing about this is that you can always go back to it and, and fix it. You see? Look at my back. See, and then I usually open it up and, and I fix it. So these tails, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place them over. Place it over here. And I'm going to hold this one here and place the other one over here. And then this one I'll tuck in. Okay? okay so there we go. So this is basically my base. This is this part from here here is going to show and some of this is going to show all this where my hands are. It's going to be covered. And with what? With my sari. Okay, so the colors I was using yesterday or yeah, yesterday were um red and black. I had a lot of red and black on, so I'm going to go ahead and you just everybody knows or this is what a sari looks like. And um I'm just going to go ahead and Pick the angle that I want. I like this side of my face better. I don't know why, but I do. And I'm going to put this at an angle like this. Kind of fold it because I think it's too big. Too big! Too big! Okay, here we go. And hold it tight. Hold it nice and tight. When I do it at an angle, I just, you know, try to cover this much or maybe a little bit more. And leave a little bit of my earlobe out. <laughs> So I do it and then a little bit towards back here. So I'm going to get it here and I want a lot of material because I want to do the twist. So this is just a little bit, a little, little bit of material that I'm, um, I'm going to use here. And then I'm just going to get it here and I'm going to tie it. And that I'm tucking. Now, you can tuck, you don't have to tuck everything right here. You can tuck it through here, through there, because if not, you're going to get like a major headache, I think, after a while. So, you know, try not to do that. Nobody wants to be suffering. I mean, everybody wants to look pretty, but without the pain. So, it's not even recommended to do that. <laughs> okay, so we have all this left. Now, my next one is going to be this one here. And it's white, it's thin. Um, the only reason why I'm using this is because I don't have anything else. I think it's a little too thin. If you had something thicker, it would be better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold this. And I am also going to make it shorter. Why? Because I want more um, of the material that I had, um, more of this one. I wanna even it out. So this is where I started making it shorter, so that's, with the sari, so that's where I'm gonna also make it shorter with the sash. I'm gonna take it here and I'm just gonna fold it. And I'm trying to cover here, you see? But not too much of my... And I can put this one towards the back. It's really not, not a big deal. It's no big deal. Okay? Okay, so. When I did this originally, I twisted this one and I put it like this. But I noticed that, you know, you couldn't really tell because it's too much. So I think I'm going to twist this one and I'm going to twist this one and I'm going to put it like that. See, so just a twist, twist and put it like that. Okay. I'm gonna leave this here for a second. That's all I did was a twist. Leave it there for a second. I'm gonna get my sari and I'm also gonna twist it. And this is my second twist. And I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, twist. Then, here are my babies. I'm gonna twist these two now. Twist. Twist. Okay. And I wish I had longer, longer arms. There we go. Take it here, and then this one I'm going to put towards the back. And I'm just going to work it in here somewhere. Work it in. Oh no. <laughs> There we go. Can you do that? Okay. So, 
There you see I have three twists. One, two, and three. I hope it doesn't look crazy, but okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and open my back, open it, and fix this a little bit, like how I like it. Here. Here we go. And what I did was I put a flower. Now remember, I double poofed, so I'm gonna pin it, and it's not gonna hurt me at all. I'm gonna put this flower here. Um, again, the reason why I pin it is because if not, my flowers would stick out like that, and I kinda don't like that. So I'm gonna pin it nice and neat and in, and using, I have a red flower, I have a red pin, you know? Try to make this, try to make it right. Try to make a raw, okay? And then, okay, so this is it. Um, sorry, of course, you can open up and make it really cute, however you want. So I'm just trying really hard to figure out different ways of using my sorry scarves and this is one way that I did it here's at an angle my sorry at an angle with one twist two twists and then one combined and I'll turn around and you can see it that's it I hope you ladies like it and it's easy yeah it's pretty much easy so see you later bye